Question 4 is about increasing and decreasing functions from lesson 4.4. This is very similar to the question 3. The same method can be used to solve these problems. And here they are also told to, to find the asymptotes and extrema, which we did last problem, and also sketching graph. So asymptotes can be found out by taking limits and finding where exactly they are. Now we here, basically the denominator, when you make it equal to zero, you get the undefined values. Those are the vertical asymptotes. So the horizontal asymptote can be found out by taking the limits until x is going to infinity. You will understand where the horizontal asymptotes are. Here, we can just use the calculator method because it's electronic part again. We can just stick to mode 7, the table, and type this equation out over here. It's x by x squared minus 1. And now, g of x is not there. Start it at, say now here, there is no intervals given. So it's better to start it at, say, minus 5 and end it off at 5. And the step that will be 1. And you get the values over here. So here you can see there is some errors. What does those errors mean? Those errors are the undefined values. Over here, x squared minus 1. That means plus or minus 1 are undefined. The domain doesn't exist over there. So those are the asymptotes at minus 1 and positive 1. Now here you can see the function is decreasing before minus 1. And yes, in the graph also it's decreasing. So if you wanted to write the increasing and decreasing intervals, then from here also we can directly tell it. And then after the, say over here, then, then it's 0. See, now if you take 0 0.5 or other steps, then you can understand what's happening here as well. But overall, you can find the other values. After 1, what is happening after 1? It is decreasing. Can you see it's decreasing? The values are decreasing. So if you wanted these values, just take 0 0.5 step, you'll get over here as well. So here was a decreasing as well. So this is the thing, but the best and the easiest way to figure out what is the correct graph as we did before is just type the given question in the calculator directly. It's x, x squared minus 1. And now calculate it at different values. At 0, it should be 0. Yes, it is. So what about, say, 0 0.5? Let's calculate it at 0 0.5. And it is 0 0.667. So negative at 0 0.5, it's somewhere over here. Yes, it corresponds. It's not exactly minus 1, but less than that. And what about negative 1 or positive 1? It's math error. And even for negative 1, it will be math error. Because those are the asymptotes. So similarly, you can choose any other points and figure out which is the correct graph. And... Here as well, you will have four graphs. All you need to do is select the correct one. Over here, the denominator, you can see, is x squared minus 1. So when you make this denominator equal to 0, you will get over here, that is, uh, plus or minus 1. So those are the vertical asymptotes. And horizontal asymptote is also there since they are same degrees. So 1 divided by 1, it said y is equal to 1. So those are the asymptotes, and that's how we graph this. Here as well, the main emphasis is given on graphing. Once you derive it, you can easily graph it up. Now, when you put this equation in the calculator, and you can check any value for that matter, the asymptotes will be error. All the others will give you the answer corresponding to the correct graph. Now, you can quickly put this in the calculator and even find the asymptotes in the calculator. Now, what if your scale is not accurate enough? You can manipulate the scale. Usually, if you take a step of 1, that's more than enough. That should give you the correct values. But if you take 0 0.5, then you'll get a lot of values. So that's uh, that's uh, we, uh, we have square root in the denominator only. And when you graph it, it's going to be like this. Such graphs are very easy because you will have four graphs and just calculate it with this equation. Check out the correct graph. This one, let's do this one. All you need to do is put it out in the calculator. x squared plus 2 divided by, open the brackets, x plus 1. 
and the denominator is only squared. So let's look into the four graphs. We should have the four graphs and then calculate it at, say, zero. Is it two? Yes, it's two. Let's calculate it at one. Is it three fourth at one somewhere over here? Yes, it's a three fourth. And then calculate it at two. Two thirds, 0 0.66. See at two, yes, it's decreased from here, right? 0 0.5 is over here. It's way above compared to what is that at two. And you can try even the left side, say calculated at minus two. And that will be six here, minus two. Yes, that's correct. So that is how we can easily figure out the correct graph. For the increasing, decreasing, we can go to mode seven. We have done it already plenty of times before. From mode seven, you can easily put this equation. And from the calculator, you can easily understand how it is behaving, whether it's increasing or decreasing. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.